So I just flew American Airlines peasant class into JFK, aka the devil's anus. And I gotta say, if you wanna be treated like garbage, then you should definitely fly American Airlines. When I got on the flight, there was literally three rows of free seat in front of me, but they have to fill every goddamn seat around me because my life is not worth the $40 upgrade. They should change the name American Airlines to American Airlines. When I was flying Delta last month, at least they try to give everybody their own little role. You know how they always tell you to put your seat upright and buckle your seatbelts during takeoff and landing? How the hell is a 7 degree incline gonna save your life? The real reason why they ask you to do that is so when they crash the goddamn plane, your dead ass is not flying all over the place and it's much easier to find your sorry ass at your seat. They're not being considerate, they're just being economical. Just come out and tell me the truth. Don't lie to me, you're not my mother. And why the hell are we always thanking the pilot after we land? They have one job, which is to land the goddamn plane. The only difference between a good pilot and a bad pilot is the good pilot takes you to your destination and the bad pilot takes you to your final destination. When the captain says we're having a good flight today, that just means he wants to live more than you do. Also what the fuck is up with not being able to bring liquid onto the plane? Is that the only tactic we have against terrorism? We're pretty screwed when the terrorists discover the freezer and start turning their liquid into solids. JFK. When screwing over is not just a common courtesy, it's in their standard policy. JFK, it's the only place where prostate exams are done by random and if you're brown, you better have a clean history or else you're gonna be brown in your pants too. I truly believe if Kennedy wasn't assassinated, he would end up killing himself knowing that we name a place where people go to get surprise prostate exams willingly after him. At JFK, they fuck you not just physically, but emotionally and financially as well. We call it the trifecta. You know, in New York City, we take health and exercise seriously. That's why when you get to JFK on Terminal 4, they send your luggage to Terminal 2. Cause we know nothing will motivate you to walk an extra 1.6 mile for no reason than to get your shit back. Truly innovational. When people say love is in the air, they mean your girlfriend left you for someone who could afford first class ticket on Delta Airlines. On the topic of love, say what you want about New York City, but this is the most romantic place for proposals and I stand by it. If you're planning to get engaged, you should definitely consider doing it in the Big Apple. Once you land it in the devil's anus, ask him to get you a bottle of water at the airport. If he complains of how much it costs, that means he's cheap. If he won't buy it for you, that means he's broke. Afterwards, walk around Central Park. If he gets tired easily, that means he's in bad health and he's bad in bed. There are a lot of people here. If you see him checking out other people, that means he's not ready to settle down. If he complains about all the restaurants you want to try, that means he thinks you're fat. You get the idea. But if everything goes well, then you my friend just passed the test of true love. Anyways, if you're not religious, then going to JFK will definitely change your mind. You will constantly see God performing the miracles of flight delay and coincidentally, flight insurance never pay for any act of God events. When people say I don't give a flying fuck, they're talking about JFK. JFK, where they let you bring your emotional support fish, but they confiscate their water. JFK, the clock on the wall is not a countdown to your departure time, it's a countdown for your next flight delay. JFK, the only place a delayed flight can get delayed again. If anal was a place, it would be JFK. JFK rated 10 out of 10 as the preferred terrorist hijacking location. JFK is where most people choose to spend their Thanksgiving. JFK is the place you realize you didn't beat your kids enough when they were younger. Anyways, rant over. I know we all have commitment issues and I'm not asking you to subscribe, but if you laugh, give the video a like. Peace!